Hello again, welcome back. Let's set up some sound effects. So in this one we'll be using the Human Vocalizations Pack. It's free from Unreal, just like everything else we're using. So first thing I'm going to do is in our Blueprints folder, I'm going to right click, create a new folder called SFX. Double click, open that up. So all the sounds that we want to make, we want to make something when she's jumping, when she gets hit, um, actually I think for her that's it, so, okay, so we will create two sound cues, one called jumping underscore sfx, right click, sounds, sound cue, hurt sfx, you know what, one more, sounds, sound cue, healed, SFX. I'm pretty sure there's one in there that's like a sigh of relief or something, so we'll set that up. So I'm going to open up all of them. So that we can then go up to our human vocalizations pack. The character I'm using is female, so I'm going to use one of the female voices. Uh, this is the one I usually use. We want to use the waves or waves, I don't know, waves probably. So, um, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna open it up. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this in preparation just in case. I don't know how loud this is gonna be on your end, so just a warning. Um, so there's a good attack sound. So I'm gonna drag down. Oh, attacking. Duh. Alright, back in the sound effects file, I'm going to create one more and call it Attacking SFX. My bad. It's late. But I'm going to drag this down like that. I'm going to go back up to my human A. Go to the waves. This is the one I used. Yeah, so I'm going to just click it, drag it, and drop it in. Now I'm going to check a few more of these. I'll just go ahead and drop the volume on them before I check them. That doesn't sound like she's attacking, that sounds like she's getting attacked, so we'll remember that one. 0. 0.25. Let's see. I'll drop that one in, that works. 0.25. You don't have to readjust the volume on your end, like I said. Just, that's a good one. And we'll find one more. That one will work. Alright, so now in our... I'm just going to close all these real quick. It's getting crowded up there. So now I'm going to bring this back up here. I'm going to box select these two, drag them back. With all of them selected, I'm going to right click and type in random. It'll automatically hook them to that random, so you don't have to line up each one. Then I'll hook it to there, and when I play, it'll just pull one of the random ones. So this is her attacking sound effect. So we'll right click and open our player. <coughs> Excuse me. And on our attacking base and execute we want to right at the start right when right before the delay so I'm gonna grab all this back it up spawn sound attached I'm gonna hook that there and hook that there the component that we want to attach it to is our mesh and the sound asset will be our attacking sound effects. So let's test that out real quick. Maybe not that soon. Let's kind of adjust the time. We need a 1.5 duration in total before our attack. So what if we put it about halfway through and we'll set this to about 0.75 here. 
set this this way a little bit and we'll drag this back not you you don't have to go and we'll set one more delay right before it for about the same 0.75 now let's test it out that's apparently too much but now that they're in place we can just let's see I'll set it for about 0.5 and about point or about one bug we apparently need to smash so back this up real quick and include one more branch hook the true to it and in our player booleans find out if we're attacking and then false so that if we are attacking it does nothing but if we're not then it'll trigger all this so That'll work. It looks decent. So now we'll repeat the same thing with Hurt. Not by Johnny Cash, even though that's a really good song. Even though it was a Nine Inch Nails song before. They're both good. Both versions are good. I like them both. Let's see here. What is this? Hurt? Okay. Jump, death, push, tired, expression, hurt. Ah. Let's see. 25, just for testing. <laughs> Not that one. That one sounds weird. Okay. That one's a good one. There you are, there. <laughs> okay, that's a weird one. the one we used? No, 12. You know what? I'm just going to put 3 for now. Just so I don't waste y'all's time too much. So I'm going to box select all of them. Random. Hook the output to our output. So that when we press play. Yeah. Now in our player blueprint, we will find our damage and we will spawn sound attached mm, not afterwards I'm gonna set it before the health that way we don't get in the way of our uh, health checks when we set up our character dying and all that yes don't get attached she won't be around forever so hurt and we want to attach it to the component of the mesh so for testing this because we don't have any nights right now I'm just gonna go to volumes pain causing volume just make sure I can find it I'll just do that good deal now jumping so I can get rid of the hurt and all of these Oop, that one. all right it, oh that's attacking I can get rid of that one too jumping is the next one I'm gonna do so I'm gonna find jumping where was it jump That's a good one. That's a decent one. That'll 
work. That'll work too. That was jumping was pretty easy. All right, whoa, that's a mess. All right, so we'll box select all of them. Random auto hook, love it. Hook it to the output. All right, now let's go to our player blueprint and find our jumping command. So we'll back this up. Nope, don't want to grab that. I'm gonna hook that like that. And at the very end, let's, yeah, there we go. Let's just move this over a little bit, get a little extra room. And I'll drag this this way. Just kind of tidy it up a little bit. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna right click, spawn, sound. Attached. Just like last time, we'll attach it to our mesh, hook it there, and plug in our jumping sound cue we just made. Ah, okay. And if I spam the space bar, she only does it once. So that's cool. That works. One more sound effect that I can think of that we need to do right now. We'll come back to this for the enemy knights so that they grunt and groan and all that. That that sounds weird. But we'll go to our fireball real quick. And right after we spawn the emitter at location, we want to spawn sound at location. This one's already made for us, so... The sound will be explosion Q, and the location will be the same location as our emitter. So now when we jump in again, oh that one's loud, um, not that, In the fireball, I'll drop that down. You can adjust their volume here if you need to. Hopefully that didn't hurt y'all's ears. Cool. It just adds a little bit more life to it. Well, until she dies, apparently. So yeah, we'll st we'll still go back and add more sound effects, like uh, for the enemy knights, and when our character dies, she'll have a death groan before she falls over. But for now, that's pretty much it. Hang on. Oh no no no, the healed. That's right. My bad. My bad. Um, let's check that. Let's check the waves. Cough. Cry. There should be some kind of... They got hurt, they don't got healed. Effort. Tired. Let's see. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, they don't have one for healed. So I'll just delete that. But we got the other ones in place, so that's cool. We'll save all that. You want to make sure you save all that, because that's a lot of stuff. And that'll do it for this one. So thanks for stopping by.